This is Win News. Tonight, two arrested after an emotional rally at the desalination plant site. Two desalination plant demonstrators were arrested on the weekend at a rally protesting against the controversial plant. More than 60 people turned out to the rally with police describing the protesters as mostly peaceful. Responding to last week's announcement, the message from anti-desalination plant protesters was clear. It's a panic solution after seven years of inactivity. Bringing with them a derelict caravan, the demonstrators removed its wheels at the gates of the plant and settled in for the long haul. We shall not be moved. This is our last stand for democracy. Come on, folks, we've got to show them. The vocal group, members of Watershed Victoria, called on Melbourne water users to join the protests. People of Melbourne, stand up, demand a better way. Of concern to Watershed is the state government's French connection, with French company Degremont a central part of the winning consortium Aquashore. And we'll be buggered if we sell our water to the French. Mm. No, menos, no, impossible. We have big concerns about any big multinational company that essentially is trying to make as much profit as they can out of this project, that they will cut corners environmentally. We're sure they'll cut corners environmentally. More than 10 protesters jumped the fence and invaded the proposed site. A 55-year-old woman and a 55-year-old man were charged with trespass after chaining themselves to a pole in the site's security compound. However, police said the protest was a mostly peaceful affair. Watershed Victoria has vowed to fight the decision right until the end. We'll keep protesting, even once the um, workers are in, construction starts. David Woywood, Win News. Meanwhile, it's been revealed the company behind Victoria's $3.5 billion desalination plant was this year involved in illegal logging of the Amazon rainforest. GDF Sewers, whose subsidiary Sewers Environment forms part of the winning consortium, was fined more than $300,000 by environmental authorities for clearing 19 hectares of rainforest. It's prompted concern from environment groups and comes after the state government declared failed bidder Bass Water could be eligible for $10 million in compensation. A Warrigal The state government has defended the environmental record of the company which has secured the contract for the desalination plant at Wonsaggi. The company has been linked to illegal logging in the Amazon rainforest. The revelation added fuel to the fire of protesters at the construction site today. The successful tenderer has been announced but protesters say the wheels haven't fallen off their campaign to stop the desalination plant. We got a fight to our last breath! And life was breathed into their protests with the news that GDF Sewers, a company connected to the successful Aquashare consortium, illegally logged the Amazon rainforest. We have big concerns about any big multinational company that essentially is trying to make as much profit as they can out of this project, but they will cut corners environmentally. The government is trying to spin itself out of trouble. Uh, the successful uh, company uh, is in no way uh, related uh, or is, is, is entirely a different company to the uh, company that uh, 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 was involved in uh, the issues uh, in Brazil. The opposition says that's rubbish. There's a significant cross-shareholding, uh, an arrangement that between the two companies. So there are clear links and clear links that need to be explained. The opposition is asking if the government knew about the illegal logging and how it was assessed under the tender process. It beggars belief that John Brumby didn't know about the environmental record of this firm. It beggars belief that he didn't seek to do that through a proper due diligence process. The government took a decision on the ba basis of what was comprehensive advice. Despite the tender announcement last week, Watershed members say they have merely lost one battle and will continue to fight against the desalination plant. A caravan blocked the main entrance to the construction site as trespassers tried to spread their message. Opponents of the desalination plant made the front running today, but they're long odds to finish in front. Guy Stainer, ABC News, Wonthaggy. Another.
arrests as protesters try to storm the desalination project. And Hawthorne. Three protesters are likely to be charged after storming the grounds of the desalination pilot plant at Wonthaggi. Vocal residents blocked the front gate following concerns the company behind the project has been fined for logging the Amazon rainforest. Vicky Jardim reports. The protesters blocked the main entrance with a caravan as others jumped the fence and made a run for the desalination pilot plant. This pair chained themselves to a pole, but it was a far more vocal scene as more people arrived. We're on top of ten, we'll stay in here. We're going to fight to our last breath. Police were promptly called after more protesters scaled the fence. Many were given a warning and escorted from the grounds. So we want everyone in Melbourne to wake up to what a con this desal plant right is. Right that desalination is a carbon crime. It's just taking the future from this generation and, and her children. Some refused to budge but finally gave in. I think the people of Melbourne want water and they're being... Um, fed alive by the government about the best way to get that. These protesters believe they can still stop the multi-billion dollar project and are planning more protests in the coming months to try and sway public opinion. And that may change after news the multinational company behind the desalination plant has been fined for illegally logging the Amazon forest. It beggars belief that John Brumby didn't know about the environmental record of this firm. There was a rigorous process of analysis of all of the uh, tenders. Vicky Jardim, Nine News. Security guards have clashed with protesters at the site of the Wonthaggi desalination plant. Despite the government moving a step closer to signing off on the $3.5 billion project last week, opponents say they'll keep fighting, likening their crusade to the Eureka Stockade. They're here to stay. <laughs> Stella Hitchens has been fighting the Wonthaggi desalination plant from day one. Today she got on top of a caravan to make her voice heard. We're staying up here, they can arrest us. We are making a stand. So too Richard Kentwell. He chained himself inside the plant this morning. It's the third time he's clashed with police. I'm scared, I don't want to go to jail or anything like that, but you know, this, you've got to say stand where you, where you believe. While the government has decided who'll build the controversial plant, Protesters say it's not too late to back out. The official contract's not signed for a little while yet, and even once they are signed, this project can be stopped if the people of Melbourne realise that they have better alternatives. And they're not happy with the winning tender, claiming Aquashore, the French consortium that will build the plant, has links with the company accused of illegally logging the Amazon. It's a claim the government has denied and the company has deflected, but the opposition isn't convinced. There are real questions about the company and they need to come clean and explain the situation. But most importantly, John Brumby needs to satisfy Victorians that the uh, project will meet the high environmental standards that Victorians want. While Stella says this is her Eureka Stockade, Watershed says it's not going anywhere, vowing to continue to protest until the project is abandoned. But as water began to fall from the sky, the protest ran out of puff. Stella vowing she'll be back. We're going to keep fighting. Yeah. Ben McNair, Seven News.